In today's video, we're gonna learn how to make this pug and not very hard to do, which is kind of cool. And then we're also gonna visit the uh, like and really like section and talk about dogs. Let's do it. How about new? Welcome back to the channel, my balloon homies. Uh, glad to see you returning. Hopefully you're enjoying these videos, but before we go forward, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff. Yep, yep, yep. So um, about the pug, about the pug, you know, I, I looked around uh, for inspiration on how am I gonna make this and I decided on, you know, something that I really liked. Actually, before we move forward, take a look at some of this mess that I made on the way to trying to get this so I could share it with you. <laughs> Holy macaroni, what a mess, but that's okay. I'm gonna pop that in a little while. That's neither here nor there. Uh, let's, in just a moment, get ready to go over the balloons we're gonna use because it's not very difficult to do. But also, I wanna invite you to stick around for the like and really like portion because we're talking about dogs, man's best friend. Yep, yep. But first, again, like I said, let's go to our balloons that we're gonna use to make this. To make this design, we're gonna use, uh, we got five balloons here, and then I have a, uh, I got my cutter here, and then I have a black marker that I'm gonna use just for the eyes at the end. And so let's look at this. You see just part of the black balloon. I'm gonna cut some of this off. Same thing for the, uh, the I'm gonna use a little pink for our tongue. Um, the white's gonna be for our eyes, really underinflated. That way I can split it and jam it in there. And both of these are blush and are brown. You see brown's got a lot more of a tail on it there than the uh, blush does, which is, um, you know, we're just gonna use this for the uh, bottom portion of the jaw there. And then I have about a hands grip on the end here as well, okay? So let's go ahead and start with our blush balloon first, and then we'll work out everything else. So I give it a good squish. Um, so let's go ahead and it's about a hands, hands grip there and I just matched it up there. All right, and go right to a pinch twist. Give it another little squish there. Go right to our neck, about two fingers. Then we got our front legs there. And it's about uh, about four fingers there. And I'm gonna roll this through here. There we go. So this is what we have so far. And then we'll do our body, pinch twist. Give it a squish. And you know what, I could have used a little less air in this. Uh, I'll show you why though, because at the end, the tail, see that? I could use a little bit because what I want to do is I want to uh, do one more loop here. So let me go ahead and pinch a little hole in it. There we go. I think I got it. Yep. There we go. Good. So now I'm do is I'm just going to grab that little piece there. There we go. A little less. And now I'm going to make one more loop at the end here. Let me give it a little bit of a stretch as I do it. Okay. What we do is we give our uh, our little uh, pug a little curl on his tail there at the end. Um, you know, when I was working with this, I was like, man, you know, what what is going to be the best way to do this to get that little curl tail without adding a glue dot or anything like that, um, and still give off that impression? And I think uh, putting a loop on there uh, it worked out really well without having it separate or anything like that. So let's go ahead and move on to the brown balloon, and uh, we'll keep going and making this design. Actually, the brown balloon and the white balloon. So I have the white balloon tucked inside my shirt, but I have my brown balloon so I can anchor it right here at the pinch twist, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it uh, slightly bigger because the brown balloon, I'm gonna have it be uh, uh, just a little bit longer because um, I want that white balloon to be able to insert in this spot here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the brown balloon, I'm gonna feed it through this top portion here, uh, which is the head. There we go. Alrighty. So that's what I have. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, uh, because we have just a single balloon running across there, I'm gonna go ahead and split the white balloon and put it inside there, and then we'll continue with the rest of the design. Um, I found it easier to do it then, instead of trying to... There we go. Instead of trying to uh, do it afterward, um, when this other balloon comes back across. So that's where we're going right now. We're coming right back to the pinch this with our brown balloon, okay? And just match those up as best you can. If they're not perfect, that's okay. Get it just as close as you can. Alrighty. Get that baby pull there. Okay. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is now, um, there is a... 
just just you know what happened is you know when i was like i said i was looking around for different ways to do this um there's this i believe it's a snake design is like where this comes from uh doing this if you flip it upside down you can kind of see the darker portion on the top there it makes it for like a real evil looking snake uh this t seemed to work out really well for what i was going for um and i think also let me go ahead and, and continue with this and then we'll keep talking as well pardon me um i'm gonna wrap this around the front here but i want it to go underneath the the eyes here okay so what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and it's going to see that okay and now we can twist it back in here back at the pin switch okay so there we go and you can adjust the eyes if you need to um i'm gonna you know just adjust it a little bit so that the eyes poke out a little bit um, and let me go ahead and get rid of this, but I'm going to break this off. Uh, normally I would say, um, don't break this too close towards the end here, but I want to use this for the uh, ears here. So let me go ahead and break it off just so, so and I'll reinflate this in just a minute. But for now, I just want to make sure I hide this little bit right here. Okay. There we go. So far, so good. Alrighty. And so right now it looks... Without the without the eyes and or the ears on it and stuff and the nose and everything it looks a little bit goofy right now. Um, I know that again, uh, using this for a different design has worked out really well. But let me just talk about this for a second before we move forward, um, so you can realize like you know where the inspiration came from this because um, this is this idea the head seemed to be pretty modular for what we needed to do um snake design also with this running across here. Um, this is also I, I'm pretty sure I've seen people use this for a well. Um, yeah, so just, just wanted to spend a second on that and not overlook that, uh, for some of you guys that uh, you, you see that and you're like, I know where that's from. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and reinflate these just for a second. Okay. This will do. Yep. 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 All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this in half and try to get them pretty darn close to each other. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quick this, give this, uh, just a mash squish it so it goes to the other side there that looks pretty good okay alrighty and then I'll let it go back alrighty I was just trying to see you know uh, about like where it's gonna just let it let it inflate that side of the balloon there okay the, the reason for that I just want to give it a quick practice run is because in a minute I'm gonna do that again but right now you see I split it and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna feed this in right through this portion right here looks gonna go right in there and it's gonna come out the other side so feeding it through just dig your fingers in there and get it see that oops this portion came out the other side there i can hold it there now what i'm going to do is i'm going to squish this one right here and what it's going to do effectively is it will pop that balloon out the other side there you see that and now what i can do is i can give this guy a spin and wedge it here above the eyes okay and then i'm going to do the same over here Okay, I can give it a spin. And now all that'll do, uh, spinning the balloon there, is it's just gonna stop the air from trying to flow back through. That's all it is. Um, you know, I was thinking like, okay, should should I tie it? W you know, what's what's gonna be the tough thing to do or the, or the easy thing to do, excuse me. <laughs> um, and I figured, oh man, I better I better just, you know, wind it up and that's gonna be the easy thing to do. Because if you try to tie this with bubbles on the end there, um, it's gonna definitely be a, a little bit challenge, you know, for you. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and get ready to add our nose and our tongue and we'll be on our way. We got them ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, trim some of this off here. I don't want, I, actually I can work with that. I'm gonna trim this part off right here. There you go. Oh, you get a lot today. There you go, nice. Oops, and I, and I dropped my little doggy. That's okay. And we'll go ahead and do about right there. There you go. That'll just make them easy to anchor in there. So let's go ahead and get that dog back. My dog is back. But before I do that, let me go ahead and also give you this. There you go. Alrighty. So the nose just right in the front there. Just fish that down inside. Feed or feed it through. Fish for it. There you go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this back here. Pull all the way to the pinch switch there. Probably not necessary, but it's easy. It's a good anchor point. Okay, so there we go. And then for our no, our, our little tongue sticking out there, uh, I'm gonna come from the bottom and go over the top. And there's there's so much pressure from 
this balloon going across here that I'm just going to pull up on it and I'm just going to drape it over the nose there. So it just went over the nose and it's just sitting right there. Okay. And pressure's going to hold that baby in place. There it is. Okay. Alrighty, there's your pug. Let's go ahead and draw some eyes on him. They're, they're real basic. They're going to look like this. There it is. All right. Cool. Hopefully that was uh, very easy for you to do. Hopefully I didn't make it too complicated to follow. I know that I realize this head structure uh, is not usually used for, I don't think it's typical for a dog, but let me go ahead and put him over to the side there for a second as we go into our like and really like portion of the channel and that is um and, and I'll, I'll spend just a short time on it i won't be too long because i feel like uh, you yeah, spent more more time on the design and i think that's primarily what you're here for um just uh, real quick like um i like uh the, the diversity in dogs okay um just because they come in all different shapes and sizes in this case the pug uh just a quirky cute little dog you know um actually i have a little bit of short footage of one that i found that i thought was really cute check it out A, a cute little dog <laughs> you could put him in a swing wow i wouldn't imagine that and um at the other end of the spectrum we have our melanois melanois did i say that right um check him out dude he don't play around So as you can tell, you're not putting that dog in a swing. Um, so that's okay because if you're chasing somebody and you can't catch up to him, guess who can? That dog. And if he climbs, guess who's gonna climb after him? That dog. Amazing. Freaking amazing. So anyway, um, thank you guys very much, very much for hanging out with me. Um, I wanna encourage you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Um, please comment down below and say, hey man, um, you know, give me your opinion on this. That looked like a pug, that didn't look like a pug. Or also, I'd be interested to hear, what kind of dog do you have? I have, in my house, I have a black lab, and I also have this little dog that looks like a mop, actually. Uh, we, we just took a picture recently, and I'll put that right over here. Tick, what do you, tell me what you think. If you like the way he looks, or if you think he needs a haircut, please give me a thumbs up, and um, I will, no, actually, I'm not gonna, I, no, I would, I would mess that dog up, actually, if I had to cut his hair, poor baby. <laughs> So, um, thank you guys very much for hanging out with me. Um, I hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully you guys are doing well and just having fun with the balloons, you know, just, just trying new stuff out and having fun. That's what it's all about, you know? So I'll see you guys next time. Happy to listen everybody. Bye.